Hello guys, welcome back uh, to the session, second part of the Python series that we're having. Uh, in the previous video, we did uh, introduction. We talked about how you can install Python and how you can execute Python from your command line. We also talked about the interpreter or text editor we'll be using, and we'll be using Moo Editor. And we discussed about uh, variables in Python, and we're going to continue from where we stopped. But before we continue, please, I want to encourage you uh, to subscribe to the channel and also leave your comment at the comment section. So in our, in, in our previous uh, uh, lesson, which is part one of this series, we introduced the Python variable. We talked about Python variable. So what we, we said there are uh, some important uh, conditions or rules you must follow while you're, while you're naming your, your variables or while you're declaring your variables. So now let's consider those rules. Uh, number one is that uh, a variable name must start with a letter or an underscore character. Uh, example, is, uh, example is as follows. Um, you can start a variable name with uh, X, like we had, uh, we have, we have shown, or you can equally start with an underscore. So you can say underscore X equal to um, three points one, you know, three point one four two, three point one four two seven, and then if you print this. Uh, underscore x into x to save you have the value at the at the output a command prompt there uh, number two is that a variable name cannot start with a number so you can start a variable with a num a variable name with a number you can say for x let's try it you can say for x equal to f uh, uh, Let's say a string, uh, true. And true, if you try to print out this, 4x, if we try to run this, we have an error. We have an error. Uh, you see, we have a syntax error invalid syntax okay and the error is showing you where it, the error is coming from so you have uh, the arrow here that is indicating where the error is coming from and is that it's also if you look at the the, the error code the information you see where the the line on the line where the we have the error and is on line four so we'll discuss about types of error in our future class so we said a, a variable must start with a letter or an underscore character. Also, a variable name cannot uh, start with a number. Another thing is that a variable name can only contain alphanumeric characters and underscores. Okay, uh, you can actually have uh, you, you can say for if you say x for this is a valid variable name, and if you try to print this x for x for you will have uh, it's printed truth must be told okay so uh, a variable name must not start with a, a you know a number but it can a number can be among you know the name now a variable name or variable names are case sensitive we have all, we have also discussed that in our previous class uh, okay so let me just give you a few examples of a legal variable name so uh, we have actually shown this that uh, these are all legal variable names. You can have uh, something like this as well. You can have underscore my new car as a variable name, and this will be Toyota. Okay. Uh, if I control S and I print. Of course, you have to while you're declaring, while you're giving giving declaring your variable 
the, you have to use the name that will be easy and the name that will be meaningful as well. Um, so depending on what you're trying to achieve, if we print this, you see we have uh, the value Toyota. Okay, so this is how uh, the things you need to know about variable names. So if you want to have, you can actually have a, a camera case uh, instead of using um, an underscore to separate the names like what I have here. So in case you're having multiple words uh, or multi-words variable names, like uh, this one now, uh, you can say my new car, just like in JavaScript, you use camera case. So each word should begin with, uh, you begin each word with a, an uppercase. So you can say, Benz. Okay, so if you print out this, my new car, this is also a valid variable name. Um, contrast to save this, and then if you run again, you have, you have Benz. Okay, so variable names with more than one word can be, you know, difficult to read. So you have to, you know, use a camera case to make it easier for readability case uh, purpose. Now, you can also, or we we'll call it, uh, we can also use a Pascal case. So each row starting with, uh, I think that's, that's the pass, we talked about the, pa the Pascal case or camera case. So each word, uh, in the camera case, in the camera case, uh, yeah, the first the first word is a lower case, a lower case. Meanwhile, in the Pascal case, uh, the all the, every word there must begin with a capital letter. Uh, there's a first letter must begin with a capital letter. The case of the first case, in the first example we did, that is this one is called snake case. That's a a, a a snake case method. Of declaring your variable okay so now let's talk about um, how do you assign multiple values how do you assign multiple values to your variable you can we can do that so let's so let's clean our text editor and see how we can assign multiple values uh, so we can have X y and z equal to two three four uh, if we print x uh, let's see what the result will be we have two if you print y We have three, and if you print Z, we have four. So in this case, we are declaring multiple variables on the same line and assigning values to them.